Okay, in this video, we're going to do the first page of the chapter six notes. So I started this in class, so we're going to continue from where I left off. And just to recap, we're talking about similar polygons and similar shapes um, look, um, look alike, but they're in different sizes. Okay, so what's alike about them? Well, the angles are all congruent, and that's why I've said this, and the sides are in proportion. So when I give you a similarity statement, which is this, you should be able to annotate your shapes so that all the angles um, are, or the corresponding angles are equal, and then use that similarity statement to get your list of angles. Okay, so here are your angles. And to write your sides like this, and they are in proportion. Okay, we're going to be working a lot with this, so just get this down so that you can look back on it as we study this more. Okay, a scale factor is defined as being the ratio of the lengths of two corresponding sides. So, for example, the lengths of two corresponding sides in the example above could be something like AB over EF. So let's say that that ratio was, um, how about if it was 4 to 2. So 4 to 2 you would reduce to 2 to 1, and you would say that this is your scale factor. So your scale factor is always a fraction, and it's always in reduced form. Okay, so let's go on to the theorems. So, a nice thing to know is that the perimeters of similar polygons are also going to be in that same scale factor relationship. So let me fill this in and we'll talk about it. If two polygons are similar, then the ratio of their perimeters is equal to the ratio of their corresponding sides. So I have to just remind you that perimeter equals the sum, okay, so that's sum of all sides. All right, so down here, they establish this for us. So here's your similarity statement. I notice it's connected by this little tilde, which tells me that the two shapes are similar. Here are your two shapes. And you should be able to come up with the angles that are equal. So I'm going to do that down here. So angle K is going to be equal to angle P. Angle L is going to be equal to angle Q. Angle M is going to be equal to angle R. And angle N is going to be equal to angle S. OK, so you have that. Now let's talk about the sides. Here are the proportional sides. Here are all your proportions. And if you take one of these, if you have numbers, and reduce it, you will have the scale factor. Okay, notice all the red, that's the perimeter of KLMN, and all the blue is the perimeter of PQRS. They are in the same proportion as are the sides, okay? Okay, let's go on to the next page. Okay, all I'm going to do is fill in this last thing, and then we'll be done for the weekend. Okay, so if two polygons are similar, whoops, let me just hold on, get that. Okay, are similar, then the ratio of any two corresponding lengths in the polygon is equal to the scale factor of the similar polygons. 
Okay, so that means, let's just say a ratio would be, I don't know, say 15 to 5. If this was the ratio of sides, that tells me that the scale factor has to be, reduce this, 3 over 1. And all of the other sides will be in the same ratio, as will the perimeter. Okay, so that marks the end of page one.